Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today we're going to go over installing Pro Tools 9 on Lion. I know probably many of you out there had prematurely bought Lion and you tried to install Pro Tools and you found that it didn't work. Either you were greeted by a nice little software compatibility error or Pro Tools for me, uh, when I tried to install it on my Lion setup, it didn't even, I didn't even get the icon. Uh, there's nothing in here. And what's funny is I've tried it numerous ways. I tried to do the Pro Tools 9 full installer. Then I tried to do the 8.03 and then the update to 9, which is right here, this one and that one. And neither of those work. What we're going to do today is a clean install of Pro Tools 9, just so I can help you guys out and get Pro Tools 9 installed on your Lion setup and you can finally continue tracking again. What we're going to do here is completely delete the DigiDesign folder out of the Applications folder. Unless you do not have it, of course, because you didn't try to install Pro Tools 9 in your Lion setup. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we also want to go ahead and go into Macintosh HD, or whatever your hard drive name is. And we want to go to Library, Application Support, DigiDesign, and we want to move that to the trash too. We want to get rid of anything that represents DigiDesign in our Lion setup right now. As you can see here, I am running Lion 10.7. It's going great. I mean, I love Lion. I love everything about it. Uh, the only downside was that Pro Tools 9 wasn't supported. Now there is beta support for Pro Tools 9, so that's great news. So I'm going to close this here. And what I have here is my Pro Tools 9 full installer. It's 9.05 update from the Avid website. So if you just go download that, you want to get the full installer and do a clean install online, that's what they recommend. So we're going to go ahead and start installing it. So you just want to click on install Pro Tools, pretty obvious. It's going to pop open your installer here, click continue, 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 agree, unless you disagree then it won't let you install it. And right here you have uh, just some important warning information. Two key commands that Pro Tools uses to initiate recordings are assigned to Mac OS X dashboard and spotlight or default input sources toggle keyboard shortcut, the key commands. So in order to use these in Pro Tools, you have to disable those keys in your Mac setup. Let's just go ahead and continue past that. It's gonna do our uh, custom install here. You can choose uh, to or not to install any of these options here. I'm gonna leave them all in there. And also, don't forget to empty your trash. All right, so now we're in here, and we're going to go ahead and click Continue. It's going to take up 6.03 gigs of space on this computer. Okay, I'm going to click Install. It's going to make me enter my super secure password, which is three letters. And here we go. It's just going to install it there. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward past all this for a second um, so you guys don't have to wait for this whole install because it might take a little bit. Uh, sometimes it takes a few minutes. And so here we go. We have successfully installed Pro Tools 9 inside of Lion. Uh, it wasn't that difficult. It took me a second. I just had to make sure I had my iLock plugged in. But this is how you do it. And it's that simple. And everything works just great. I know that this is beta support. And they mentioned that not everything is 100% compatible. As far as everything goes, everything seems to work just fine. So uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys. So once again, this is Dom from MacMixing.com. Please go check out our website. Visit the forum. Browse around. we got a bunch of tutorials and stuff going on on there. I uh, have a bunch of reviews up there. Everybody go check it out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting. And have a great day.